Flourish, where we explore how to nurture, coach, and inspire the children we love at any age to let their genius thrive. I'm your host, Diane Planadin, and today it's snowing. <laughs> I love snow, and I love snow days, and when life gives you snow, make a snowman. Get out there and play. It's just like that old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, you can make the most of it, even in the snow. Nothing brings me greater joy than a snow day, and especially the first snowfall of the season. So fresh and bright and crisp and white. And it's going to be a crazy day, you know, people get a little caught off guard and they might not have snow tires on yet, so it, it can get interesting. And, and as adults, we, we sometimes look at this beautiful natural phenomenon in a little negative manner, uh, because it's snowing. Look at a child. <laughs> They're grinning from ear to ear. They are excited. Look at the snow. Let's get out there and play. And you have a lot of gear to get on. Your snow pants and your, your moon boots. Those big boots that, that you make it through Armageddon. And the mitts and the toques. And it's just, oh, finally a good reason to go outside and play in the snow. I love it. And as a mom, there's nothing better. You let your kids out in the snow, even if it's for 15 minutes. Mom, 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 let's go, 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 go. They're, they're having fun. And I think they can teach us a lot with their enthusiasm, regardless of the weather. If you're having a snow day, take a moment. Take a moment and look at it through your child's eyes and look how excited they are at the prospect of going out there. And, well, maybe you have a memory of a snow day. Maybe you have a memory you can draw upon and something that was really, really special about the snow and building forts in the snow. Uh, when I was younger, I think there was 10 times as much snow or I might've been a lot shorter, but we managed to build a, a few tunnels and igloos and forts in the snow, so it was it was really, really enjoyable. As you can probably tell by now, I am super excited and snowing. And I have such fond memories of when Nicholas was small and we would have snow days and I'd wake up early and I could hardly wait to wake him up because it was so exciting and I would go into his room and, uh, is he breathing? Is he awake? Wake up, Nicholas. <laughs> five more minutes, Mom. So I'd give him the five more minutes. And then I'd go and start to make breakfast, you know, something very aromatic. So, like, maybe some bacon to rouse him out of bed and get his, uh, his day going. But I'd go back into his room and he'd still be sleeping. And then I'd say those magic words. It's snowing. And I have bacon. Okay, mom. I'm going to jump in the shower and I'll be right there. So it worked. I don't know if it was the snow or the bacon or maybe a combination of the two. But he would get ready for the day just in case the school was open. And I would enjoy making breakfast, staring at the snow, maybe some nice soft boiled eggs, little little toast corners, you know, the ones that you can dip in that soft boiled egg. Really nice way to start the day. And we would sit down to our breakfast and plan, plan on having a snow day. We'd make a list and we would maybe decide where is that snowman going to go in the yard? What is he going to wear? Where should we get an extra scarf from? Things like that. And then as his lab assistant, I would be making notes feverishly because he had 
a million thoughts a minute and I'd be writing everything down and then we would be okay but you know we want to strategize because we want to have room for the snow angels when we lay down in the snow and make uh make <laughs> make <laughs> An entire scene, I guess. I loved being Nicholas's lab assistant in any project that we did. So for me to sit there and, and take notes as he had a vision and his imagination was just going a mile a minute, I loved it. I loved it. You know, there's other parents out there that thought I was a crazy mama. You know, like, what are you doing? And I said, well... I might be the parent, but I'm letting him explore his thoughts, his ideas, and I'm supporting them. No, no, you're the parent. He should just do as you say. I said, really? Wow. That really builds a lot of creativity. I'm his coach. I'm his mentor. I am there for him to support him and discuss and brainstorm. These are usually the same parents that think they can be friends with their child and then um, turn around and expect their child to listen to them instead of act as a peer. So really think hard. Think hard. Being your child's lab assistant, well, it can be fun. It can be a lot of fun, and it's one of the magic things that really worked well for us. And it's really fun when you find something special, some traditions. I spoke last week how important traditions are to society and culture. And even if your tradition is to have a nice breakfast every day, you know, my mom always made a beautiful breakfast for us. And my favorite was always her mushroom omelets. Omelet day, that was usually on the weekends. So thanks, mom. Mommy see, mommy do. It, it worked. And so when we're having a snow day, we come up with a plan. And the plan is usually involving puzzles and games and hot chocolate and marshmallows all of the wonderful things that you never really have time for when you're in a hurry going nowhere all the time. So we're all giggly over breakfast and we're like, yeah, we get to snuggle or just whatever, whatever makes you happy. You know, some people like to read together. Everyone will get a book out and just put their feet up and if you have a fireplace, make a fire and just enjoy a cozy day at home. An unexpected surprise. It's a really happy feeling. That particular snow day didn't quite pan out like we had hoped. It turns out school was open and I did end up having to go to work. But we flipped it on the bright side. Nicholas says, well mom, you know, Based on the amount of snowfall, we're going to have a lot more snow to work with. Hence, a much bigger snowman. And I thought, wow, that is definitely making lemonade out of lemons and is such a positive way to approach the day, even though it was snowing. And even though he had to go to school and I had to go to work, but <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, it was a really good day. I wanted to share this little story with you today to just give you a different perspective on starting your day on a positive note. Starting your day deciding that you are going to have a fantastic day. And I've mentioned before that if you make up your mind first thing in the morning on how your day is going to go, it'll really make a difference. Or you can plan the night before, even if it's not snowing and maybe you live in the tropics or maybe you don't even have, maybe you've never had a snow day ever. 
there must be some type of day where you can play hooky, I guess, from life and just take a little mini vacation at home. Stay home with your family, enjoy and, and relax. But you're starting your day on a positive note, even if that means bustling everybody out the door and getting to school and getting to work. If you plan out your day with a positive thought and you start with a nice breakfast and you're not in a hurry going nowhere, it really, really has a positive glimmer on the day ahead. You know, I have spoken before about what my family's been going through, my father specifically, with his uh, Alzheimer's disease. And if there was ever, ever a time when you need to start the day on a positive note, <laughs> it would be for your parent who is struggling now and life has come full circle per se. He will look out the window, I guarantee, at the snow and be inspired. He'll just stare at the snow and the snowflakes, which is a wonder into itself. Each snowflake is unique. Each person is unique. You are an original, just like a snowflake. And you can decide. You're going to start the day on a positive note. You're going to make a snowman out of snow or lemonade out of lemons. And you're going to have a fantastic day. Because we're all born with a gift. We're all born with purpose. Life's journey is to hone and develop that gift. As purpose changes within. And I'm no longer Nicholas's lab assistant. And Nicholas has provided wonderful music for this show. So thank you, Nicholas, for sharing your snow days with me and sharing your positive thoughts and your imagination. It's truly wondrous to see life through a child's eyes and be young again, be young at heart. Because what a great excuse to act like a kid when you have one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Live well, my friends. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate your time. And next week, I am super excited to announce I am presenting a seminar in Arizona at the Gifted Conference. And my seminar is entitled, Nerds, Genius Needs to Blossom. So I'm super excited to be part of that conference and to share my thoughts and ideas with parents and educators and administrators and, and it's going to be well it's going to be fabulous and I will most likely not have snow but I'm already grinning from ear to ear on how excited I am to be there so thank you have a great week